esto es Imagen Empresarial. Esta mañana estoy muy contento porque está aquí en el estudio Alex Lee. Él es el director y vicepresidente de Chirey en México. Eh, Alex, welcome. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you so much. So uh, I would like to begin for uh, talking about Chirey. It, I know it was founded in 1997 yes. in China. Uh, what is the? How would you tell about Chirey? Not just in Mexico. That I know that you arrived a couple yeah. of years ago. Now we, we, you're going to tell us, but What about the company around the world? What is the, the scope of or, or the size of Chiray right now? Yeah. So uh, Chiray, in Mexico, we are quite new. We have a two years uh, history in uh, Mexico. But uh, worldwide, here, like you just mentioned, we have uh, 27 years uh, experience in automotive industry. But uh, worldwide, that uh, we have been the number one exporter, Chinese exporter, for the past uh, 21 ex consecutive years. And uh, we have been covered most, uh, more than 80 countries right now. And uh, in Latin America, we have um, covered in most of the countries, Chile, Peru, Ecuador, and uh, we have two factories in Brazil, and uh, different countries are covered as well. Eh, le pregunto cuál es hoy el tamaño de Chile y me dice, bueno, llegamos hace dos años a México, pero somos una compañía de 27 años, son el mayor exportador de vehículos desde China, están en 80 países, por ejemplo, en América Latina prácticamente todos están en Ecuador, Perú, eh, tienen dos plantas en Brasil. How many cars do you produce? Bueno, Chile produce uh, uh, every year. In the past years, uh, we are reaching uh, almost uh, two million units in the whole group. And uh, in the in the sales part, we have a uh, 1.8 million sold in a in a whole world. Eh, le pregunto cuántos coches han producido, me dice más o menos en los últimos años 2 millones, eh, se han vendido 1 millón 800 mil vehículos. Now, at the beginning it was, a, the, it was not electric cars, right now what is the, is it a, an specialization mm -hmm. as many other companies from, from China in electric or you have mixed, bar, uh, being since 1997 I yes. guess there was the combustion engine. Yeah. So uh, basically, we are the first uh, Chinese automotive brand that uh, master the core uh, engine technologies. Uh, so we have a brand called Ateco, which is the engine technology that we, that we have. So basically, in the past years, we developed strong in the uh, combustion engine technology. We have a different engine from 1.0 turbo to up to 2.0 turbo engine. And right now, with the transmission to new energy stage, that we are focusing in the technology of a uh, PHEV, plug-in hybrid. So in Mexico, we already launched the Tigo 8 PHEV, and uh, in the following month, that we are also launching the Tigo 7 PHEV. So this is uh, the new energy, but also for electric car, pure electric, that we are also launching products in this year for Chirac brand. Ok. Eh, le pregunto, bueno, pues siendo una empresa desde 1997, ¿cuál es, eh, digamos, la mezcla? Porque hemos visto muchos jugadores provenientes de China muy especializados en el tema eléctrico. Me dicen que ellos pues tienen una tecnología ateco eh, de motores de combustión interna, pero también están eh, con presencia con los, eh, plu los híbridos plug-in, que son híbridos justamente combustión interna y eléctricos, pero que se conectan. Tiene ahí el Tigo 8, Tigo 7 y van a lanzar este año eh, vehículos vehículos eh, eléctricos, evidentemente todavía no nos dice el modelo. Now, uh, what about Mexico in these last two years? How has been the reception? This is the Mexican market, very competitive. What has been the strategy and what are the numbers in, in, in Mexico? So in Mexico, uh, like I just mentioned, we have two years experience. We launched the brand since uh, July 2022. In the first year, I would say that uh, the brand have been uh, being well accepted by the market. Both uh, from a uh, distributor side, we have a uh, nationwide uh, right now, uh, more than 60 dealers uh, nationwide. And uh, the market started with uh, around 8,000 units in the first year. And uh, in 2023, in the past year, we uh, surpassed uh, 30,000 uh, 30, units so in, the, in the market. And uh, in the coming years, that uh, what we are looking for is to uh, refresh all the units, all the models that we have Right now we have uh, the Tigo 8, Tigo 7 that uh, will be coming soon with the with the model year fa uh, facelift change, model model change, and uh, also like also we just uh, talk about the new energy vehicles will be also be the part of the strategy that we bring for new energy products into yeah. the market. Okay, and and how many cars do you think or is the objective on 2024? 
we always are looking for grow higher, um, but I would say uh, uh, we are looking for uh, a number of uh, fifty thousand uh, for the for the whole jury. Me, me dice justamente Alex eh, que bueno pues ellos eh, llegaron justamente en julio de 2022, han tenido una buena recepción, eh, pues han llegado con esta oferta que ya nos decía de los eh, Tigo eh, y empezaron vendiendo 8 mil, luego el año pasado 30 mil y le preguntaba cuánto están pensando vender, me dice obviamente queremos crecer, están pensando alrededor de, de 50 mil eh, vehículos, tienen por cierto además nos decía 60 distribuidores a nivel nacional y bueno pues ha tenido una buena aceptación. How would you say the the Mexican uh, consumer is different from from other parts, or is the same, or what has been the strategy in terms of establishing in in Mexico mm -hmm. in these last years? So the different part of uh, Mexican consumers, I would say, not very big difference because the trend of the uh, I mean global global consumers is looking for uh, refined products, and also they're looking for. Uh, good technology, good design of the vehicle. And I would say there's a specific part of the Mexican consumer will be uh, looking for more safety uh, uh, configuration. That's why in the past a new model we launched, which is the Arizo 8, the first uh, flagship sedan we have in Mexico, that we uh, put in a vehicle with uh, 10 airbags, which is a uh, uh, leading uh, te safety technology. Eh, le pregunto si hay una tendencia diferenciada del consumidor mexicano, me dice no, pues están en la tendencia normal, obviamente quieren buena tecnología, buen diseño, mucho énfasis en la seguridad, me decía que el Arizo eh, tiene, tienen mucho enfoque en la seguridad y justo eso pues eh, les pusieron 10 bolsas de aire en ese, así que bueno, pues eso es eh, interesante desde esa desde esa óptica. Now, how about, obviously the, one of the questions is, Getting a plant, you were telling us you have yeah. two plants in, in Brazil. Do you yes. think that's a, a plan for Mexico? It, it makes sense or it, the actual uh, model of commercialization uh, is it's okay? Yes, I would say so because uh, as we want to build a synergy in the whole Latin American uh, region that we are also doing a study for Mexican factory at this moment, As, uh, the as the brand is being well accepted by the market, that we are doing this uh, with uh, different level government, federal, uh, city, and municipality uh, government to have this study. At this moment, we didn't define the final location yet, but we will continue to uh, look for more information. And uh, of course, when we have the final decision, of course, yeah. Yeah, you'll be <laughs> yeah. invited. I, I hope so. Le pregunto a Alex que eh, si tienen planes de una planta, eh, ya nos decía él que tienen dos en Brasil, me dice que están justamente en la parte de estudio, hablando con las autoridades federales, todavía no tienen un lugar, digamos, en donde la van a poner, y obviamente me dice, cuando lo sepamos o cuando lo tengamos claro, pues ya eh, lo estarán comunicando. In terms of the calendar, do you think that is going to happen this year, or, or it's a thing? about two, three years. I say we were trying to make it uh, fast, but uh, let's see how the uh, trend of the economy and also the, uh, the brand performance in the market goes. Claro, le pregunto que cuál es la temporalidad y me o sea, si es este año o los siguientes eh, tres y me dice, pues todo dependerá obviamente de cómo se va comportando el mercado, eso va a definir por supuesto la rapidez, because uh, you're thinking for example, The scope is being in Mexico, Latin America, in the United States. Is there any plan in terms of, because it will make sense to put a plant in Mexico and then try to go for the, the, the U.S. market? At this moment, of course, uh, the first step for the factory is to cover Mexican market uh, domestic for sure, because uh, we are here and then we want to focus here. And second is to cover the whole Latin America, because uh, we have uh, more than 20 years experience in the whole cool. region. And the next stage, I would say, is more uh, for European market. Uh, yesterday, we just launched uh, Omona brand in uh, the in uh, Spain, which is the first okay. uh, uh, European subsidiary that we have. Wow. So we want we also want uh, this uh, Mexican factory. If we put it here, 
we'll be also covering the European expansion. Wow, ah, that's very interesting. Eh, le pregunto si qué van a cubrir con respecto a si hay posibilidad de Estados Unidos. Me dice que eh, más bien están pensando en América Latina, tienen más de 20 años, pero además que acaban de lanzar una marca allá en España y la cubrirán desde México. Debo hacer un corte. Alex, can you hold us in the uh, just a commercial break and we continue to talk? About 45 minutos. Esto es imagen empresarial. Esta mañana está aquí en la cabina y, y me da mucho gusto Alex Lee, director y vicepresidente de Chirey en México, eh, justamente pues platicando de todo lo que está ocurriendo. Uh, now, uh, how would you, what would you say, Alex, in terms of the 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 competitive uh, Mexican market? In terms that we have almost all the the brands yeah. here. What that means in terms of defining strategies and and conquering the not conquering but participating mm. in the Mexican market. Mm. Okay, so regarding this point, I would say that the Mexican market indeed is a very competitive market that you have uh, more than 50, 50 brands right now at this moment, I would say, that uh, that we, ch Cherry, as a Chinese brand, we are also coming from a market that is very, uh, having fierce uh, competition. That uh, with that, I would say that uh, we are being, uh, like, refined ourselves For, from from a brand that have a full product portfolio. Right now we have a SUV, the Tigo from Tigo A, Tigo 7, Tigo 4, Tigo 2. And uh, also coming, we have uh, the sedan, sedan product and uh, for different powertrain as well that we will be providing gasoline, PHEV, and also new uh, pure electric. That uh, with this trend, with this product that we have been uh, refined in Chinese market, we think that uh, it will be very, uh, Well adapted in the Mexican market as well. Le, le planteo que, bueno, pues el mercado mexicano es uno de los más competidos del mundo. Me dice, sí, son 50 marcas, es muy competido, pero me dice, venimos de China y en China, vaya que hay mucha competencia. Tienen una, eh, digamos, portafolio de productos muy completos, SUV, sedan, etcétera. Obviamente motores de combustión interna, plugins, hybrids y obviamente puramente eléctricos. And that's a, that's a very interesting thing mm. because... Always when I think about China, I, yeah. I believe that for every Mexican, for every Rodrigo business journalist, yeah. there are 10. No, so the, the comp, I mean, the, you need to fight very hard in mm -hmm. terms of conquering and having a big presence in, in the Chinese market, yes. which is a whole, uh, I will say, continent, a whole universe in terms of it's a very pretty big big country and a very uh, tough uh, ecosystems in, ter in terms of competition. Yes. Uh, what would you say the, uh, a Chinese company brings different in terms of the, of the dynamic, for example, in the, in the car market? Because mm -hmm. we have obviously American companies, uh, European mm -hmm. companies, we don't have uh, so far Mexican companies, mm -hmm. but, but what would you say the, the Chinese culture in terms of the mm -hmm. company culture brings in terms of, the, of being a global mm -hmm. car company? I would say the fast reaction would be the first point to mention, uh, talking about the rapid development that we just uh, talked about for the dealer network. So uh, taking two years, we have uh, roughly seven, 70 dealerships uh, already open in Mexico. And also from uh, the point of uh, product development, it's the same, that uh, we already have uh, five models uh, in, Chiray, in Chiray brand, now counting different powertrain. So I would say the fast reaction in the in the growth is one key, and also fast reaction, I mean for the strategy chain from uh, right now, for changing from a gasoline car to the EV is also one of the trend for Chinese Chinese brand. I would say that we will see, you will see uh, different uh, Chinese brand, of course, including Chiray, that we will grow very fast in the EV in the next stage as well. Claro, le pregunto a Alex, eh, bueno, eh, digo que me parece siempre cuando pienso en China, pues eh, me imagino la competencia intensa porque por cada, por ejemplo, mexicano, pues hay 10 eh, personas en China y eso quiere decir que es un, un entorno de una competencia realmente intensa y le pregunto eh, la cultura de una compañía china global de automóviles que trae y me dice, bueno, pues mucha rapidez, obviamente han desarrollado la red de distribuidores en dos años 60, pero también eh, en términos del desarrollo 
de la velocidad que han tenido para avanzar de los motores de combustión interna a los vehículos eléctricos y lo que ya nos contaba de los eh, plugins. Now, in terms of dealerships, how, at this point you're consolidating or you plan to grow and have more than 60, go to 70, 80? What is the, the plan there? We have a plan to continue to grow because uh, right now, uh, even though we have uh, 100% coverage in uh, the whole 32 Mexican states, but we are continuing to grow uh, to provide customer with a closer service to the, our dealership. Eh, le pregunto cuál es el plan en términos de distribuidores, me dice, bueno, pues hoy ya tienen cobertura del 100% en los 32 estados de la república, pero ahora también tienen que, o van a tener el, la parte de servicio que es eh, evidentemente muy importante. Now, in terms of the logistics, bringing, uh, you produce the cars that, that in you China, sell in, in China, yes. yeah, exactly, not in Brazil, obviously. Yeah. So, wh what is the complexity in terms of the logistics or is the globalization is working pretty mm -hmm. well? Yeah. Yeah. In the pandemic, it was kind of, of hard. Yeah. That's why, I guess, it was the arriving in after the, yes. the pandemic. But, but what, is the, what is the challenge in that part in terms mm. of many consumers that will think, oh, but they're producing in China, all the service of my car and the maintenance yeah. can be tough. What, what is the answer to that part? I mean, uh, indeed, the pandemic was uh, a challenging part for us, uh, but uh, through the cooperation that we have uh, with uh, different Mexican partners, I mean, in the logistic chain, through the vessel, through the train, and also through the truck companies that we work together, that we've been uh, successfully uh, launched the brand and also providing uh, products to our customer. And now talking about challenge, I would say uh, that would be to continue to improve the efficiency of the logistic. And uh, this is something that we continue to, to do with our partners. Bueno, le pregunto de la parte logística, pues implica retos, obviamente en la pandemia vimos los problemas en la cadena de suministros que se daban, por eso no me extraña que hayan venido ahora, y me dice, bueno, pues han trabajado en la parte logística desde los barcos, los trenes, los camiones, justamente lo han estado haciendo para estar ahí. How long it take uh, to, for example, a car produced in, in China to come to Mexico, to be on the, yeah. on, on, on the, on the distributor? Roughly, it takes around 30 days, but right now 30. we are running fast. Uh, we'll be uh, a little bit shorter, like around 25 days to reach from Mexico to China. From China to Mexico. Le pregunto cuánto tarda un coche en producirse y estar ya en el piso de venta. Me dice que son 30 días, pero hoy lo están haciendo un poco más rápido en 25 días. What about the challenge in terms of, of the exchange rate? How does that play? Because the Mexican peso has been kind mm. of strong. The Rambimbi, the Yuan, has, I don't mm. know, it has been stable, yeah. kind of stable, a little bit. Kind of uh, yeah. stable. But, but the cost structure yeah. is in dollars. How, how it works, yeah. that part? No, but, but to be honest, uh, we are not affected that much by this part, I mean, the exchange rate, because uh, most of the operation we have in Mexico is with a uh, Mexican vessel. Okay. Yeah. Eh, le pregunto del tipo de cambio, cómo funciona, sobre todo pues si es eh, dolarizado. Me dice, no, no hemos tenido gran efecto, obviamente trabajan en pesos mexicanos. Y bueno, pues ahí eh, nos dice Alex, no ha tenido una afectación yeah. eh, tan, tan importante. Yes. Eh, Alex, it's, it's a pleasure having you here. I hope you, when, when the plant is ready, eh, the decision obviously yeah. you, you come here. And if not, in all the launches that you're going to have in terms of the EVs and everything. Eh, thank you very much for being here. Thanks so much. Of course, you will be invited to our event. I, I, I will be, I'm glad to, to have the invitation and to be there. Thank you. Thanks so much. Ahí escuchamos a Alex Lee, director y vicepresidente de Chirey en México.